Dear friends, welcome to another episode today in the military world. In this video, we will talk about the deployment of a new cavalry regiment of the Brazilian army in Roraima, a direct response to Maduro's threats of invading Guyan. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe now and activate the notification bell to not miss any updates. Those who follow the channel are well aware of the serious extensions along the northern border of Brazil with Nicolas Maduro. After a referendum in early December, advancing with the annexation on paper of the entire Essequibo, a region that corresponds to 74% of Guyana's territory. With this annexation by decree, Maduro also created a new Venezuelan state, putting a military figure in power and announcing that he will turn all 125,000 Guyanese citizens living in that region into Venezuelans. In other words, in a single stroke, Maduro violated two of the most important and sacred laws of international law. However, to effectively take possession of what he sees as his new territory, Maduro will have to forcibly invade Guyan, an action that, as I explained in recent videos on the channel, will not be easy given the extreme geographical conditions in that region along the entire western border of Guyan. The only place where it is relatively easier to cross a large invasion force is precisely along the Brazilian border, where there is a greater prevalence of plains and fields with lower vegetation. There is even a highway connecting both territories, A401, something that does not exist between Venezuela and Guyan. Therefore, for Maduro to attack Guyana with an authentic invasion force composed of tens of thousands of troops, the easiest path would be through Brazilian territory. It is obviously a scenario whose realization borders on the impossible because it would require Maduro to invade and attack Brazil. But if Maduro effectively attacks Guyana, whether through the forest, by air or along the coast, even if Brazil is not directly targeted, the risk of suffering some kind of collateral damage is significant. And even if the fighting does not approach our borders, there is also the serious issue of civilians fleeing from the war. When two countries fight, civilians are the ones who suffer the most, and that is why those who can move away from conflict zone. Therefore, if there is war, Brazil, which recently received hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans fleeing the crisis caused by Maduro, may once again receive hundreds of thousands of refugees from both Venezuela and Guyan. There are various scenarios that could happen in northern Brazil if Nicolas Maduro fulfills his threats and invades Guyan. And in some of these scenarios, our country may be affected directly or indirectly. It was to prepare for these and other scenarios that the Brazilian army formalized the deployment of the 18th Mechanized Cavalry Regiment in Roraima. It is the result of the expansion process of the 12th Mechanized Cavalry Squadron of Boa Vista, which will triple its strike. It was a very old project, started in 2009, and was scheduled to be completed in 2025. However, given everything I've reported here, the Brazilian Army accelerated its deployment, completing it on Friday, December 8, 2023. The 18th Regiment will have about 600 soldiers distributed in three cavalry squadrons and a command and support squadron, the structure that will be equipped with armored vehicles relocated from the south and midwest. Among the vehicles of the new regiment is the Guarani, considered one of the best 6x6 troop transport armored vehicles in the world complemented by vehicles like the Iveco LMV BR 4x4. We must not forget the expansion of the 7th Jungle Infantry Battalion and the 1st Jungle Logistic Battalion, not to mention the recent creation of the 22nd Jungle Infantry Brigade. The Amazon region is one of the most strategic for our country, something that becomes evident in times of high tension like the current one. Therefore, aiming to protect that region, the Brazilian army positions itself with means more suitable for modern armored mobile combat. 